Well, we are back in the building, rocking red. It's been a minute, but we back. What it do, y'all? Uh, man, what you been up to? What you what you what you been up to besides work? Yeah, sure, I know, but everybody's uh, getting busy. No, we've uh, we've I um, my dad had in his backyard a big deck built, which there forever we only had a ten by ten uh, at his house, a uh, little square. Never really used the backyard for anything, but like storage for. There's a generator there now, but you know, storage unit or whatever. And my yeah. dad at this point in, in his life is I think he's wanting to have a nice little space um that I'm probably gonna go over there and use and, and hang out at a little bit. But man, we built a deck and he re rebuilt, had rebuilt a um uh, uh storage shed and it now it's turned into like a decent little place that actually has a little loft up top. So I've been helping my dad with that, just get getting, you know, getting getting his castle together, you know? All right. That was the, the main cave in Bay Ridge, man. It's the one I grew up in. Yeah, so it's you main cave. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I'm loving it. I'm having a good time uh, with that. What about you? Man, same old, same old. Shoot, work one business to the other business. Uh, you know, uh, last week, uh, my uh, second daughter, or my my second to the baby, but uh, the second daughter graduated from college. Shayla graduated from uh, Sam Houston. With, yes, uh, yes. uh she graduated uh some cool yeah some cool uh -huh. so i was yeah she stayed on it but uh that was good um man besides that just regular work uh man i you know i started uh i started jumping running. rope yeah I, huh jumping rope i see yeah so, yeah i started running and jumping rope yeah uh man i uh in the sun too like in the grass the you know i I just don't work as much as I used to when I was younger, man. And I refuse to just sit around and, you know, do estimates and point and just get fat. I don't know. I just can't do it. So uh, I did have this this challenge of myself. I was like, you know, I'm going to just let myself get get how I want to get. And then mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go all the way back and I'm going to go back to a six pack before I hit 50. And man, I'm I'm, yeah, man. I, I think I'm rounding myself back into a, a healthier Regime. I've actually let myself go as far as the weightlifting part for the last however many months, more than I ever have in in many years. Like I'm getting, I'm getting soft. I've been, I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna go walk and I'm gonna go jog and I I need, I'm doing some pushups. But yeah, I'm about to about to get it right again, man. I'm, and I I suck. Yeah, say, bro, so we get old. We get old. We get no younger, bro. <laughs> yeah. I no, I'll be fine. I've got good muscle memory, but when I see you doing the jump rope, I'm terrible at jumping rope, and I suck at it. Here, I, and I'll stop <laughs> going on this for a minute. But props to you because that's something I was never good at. Let me before we get started, man. Uh, what you just, got? What you got? <laughs> uh, I, I remember you saying you don't you don't listen to a whole lot of new rappers, and that's we won't go too far down that road right yeah. now for time's sake. But, but I it, do. it's not even new rappers. It's when you make music, it's hard to listen to other people. I've never yeah. listened to other people because I if agree. you're listening so much, you become a consumer more than a producer. Yeah, and it can I'm sure that can mess with your creative. Yeah. Future. Next thing you know, you sound like them. Yeah. Well, <laughs> anyhow, I just I, I listened to some of them and and uh Draco the ruler, you, have you heard of him? Yeah. He he passed away, you know, a year or two ago. He got killed. But anyways, he's from LA and I've always heard his name, never really listened to him and somehow in the last maybe week or week and a half i started listening to his music because he had such a following and he's pretty good i, li I like I, I really only listen to young houston rappers and a couple of la rappers when i think about it there's not really any other areas that i draw from but that being said i was i was listening to draco last night and i was doing some other stuff and something had something was said in one of the songs i just want to share it with you real quick it'll just take a second it just caught on my what's, ear, and I was like, "What did you what's say?" What's the song? What's the name of the song? Walk in Red. There's the punchline. Hold on. It's called Walk in Red. I don't even know what that means. I'll let you know in a second. <laughs> okay, I can't hear it. Oh, you can't. 
No, it's like going right, in and out. Like, we'll have to do it another way. But send it to me. I'll play it. <laughs> he goes, you'll be dead if you, what does he say? Says, uh, you'll be dead if you. What is what does he say exactly? Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Uh, if you get in the middle of rock and red or or some something like that, but he, it's just funny, man. I'll, I'll send it to you. You'll get the punchline. But yeah, I, uh, I'm sitting there uh, hanging out, and he goes, "You'll be dead if you fucking with rock and red, rock and red." And I, and I heard it, and I go, "Wait, what did he say?" And I had to play it back. He goes, "You'll be dead if you mess with rock and red." That's our song, bro. Ah, bro, I got it. Ah, right, yeah. Like, just I was, send I me the in, league. Send me the league. I'll make it I, happen. Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. Draco, man. Shout out Stink Team, man. But I, I, like, I like Draco. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's just some bullshit, man. I just yeah, but it. that's wild. I mean, I mean, but yeah. like I say, that's why. If you can see this, walking red. Walking red. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, Let's, like what I told you, that's why I made the title like that because. uh I'm not going to incriminate nobody, but it, you, a lot of people that I hung with over the years, they were a lot of red. So they, they, you know, they was Pyru, they was blood. So, you know, yeah. rock and red is, and you know, when you rock and red, it's, 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 it's a thing. But rock and red. Well, Inglewood blood, Inglewood family bloods killed him. So and he's, yeah, not I mean, even, he's not even a crip. He's his own thing, but he hung with, Rolling sixties and hundreds. Yeah, and I was gonna say uh, in LA, it's not about the color; it's about the neighborhood. Like, yeah. it, it, you could be the same color, and they yeah. still getting you because you're from a different set. Like, it's it's literally. But I don't even know that it, that has anything to do with the title. I don't understand what. Walk they probably is don't. Racing. I think walk is a is is walk it uh is is a uh, uh person if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I gotta listen to it and see. Yeah. I, I'll let you just, know. But I'm definitely gonna put that. I'm, I'm gonna put it in there so they know exactly what you're talking about. It was just funny about. how I did a full stop when I when it hit my ear. I was just doing something <laughs> else. I go rock and red. I go Drake, Draco, man. And then and I'm jamming the song now. I love it. So anyway, I'll send it to you. I'm the same way. If I hear somebody say "Shock the World" uh, when the Lakers won uh, Game Seven, hey, they asked AD what he wanted to do. He said, oh, "We just wanted to shock the world." My wife said, "You should have had a recording." <laughs> It'll be another one. Somebody says shock the world every day. <laughs> yeah. Uh but all right, so let's uh let's get into the meaty stuff. All right, so okay. I got I got some say so man. We were talking Can I about say one train. thing real quick about this What's before this? you go in because you I, I got your message and you're like, all right, I got I got I got you know my research and everything. Let me let me just clarify real quick on when I when I was talking about the trains. Uh-huh. Let me back up. I am fully aware that, that now that I think about it, that it may just be that the infrastructure is, that's most likely that it's just really fallen apart and it's never really been maintained. And that's why it's yeah. happening as far as the trains. So it's not necessarily attack under attack, like somebody said. So let me, let me go yeah, ahead and say that. That's cute. Shout out to Q. That was cute. However, and shout out to him. <laughs> however, I do think there is something going on with that. And, and like I said, food production, there's things being stifled. And I think that there are a accidents that are being possibly caused purposely. So I, that's my stance on that. So I'll let All you right. know. So what I did is, you know me, I'm a geek about it. I'm a geek about everything. So I need facts. I need hardcore facts. I at least need something to tether to, to at least state my I basis on it. Yeah. So I looked it up and man, Believe it or not, this was started by America's person we love to hate. Well, half of us hate him, half of us love him, Tucker Carlson. On April 22nd, 2022, Tucker Carlson started a rumor about the instructions about this, and that's where it came from. It started in 22 with Tucker. But this is what they, it, how as it started. The trains it was, or? Uh, uh, about the structures catching on fire, the food plants. And okay. it's actually been an investigation by the National Fire Protection Association. I didn't even know that NFPA exists. I've read some of the same stuff. So you Okay, know. yeah. So they actually did an investigation and said, all right, it's not the Russians. It's just Americans not doing their job. And we're yeah. I, and like you say, the infrastructure is just kind of falling apart. And and I, I have found places, I, I have found places that have said, and you have the data, I don't. So I, I will give you that. I don't have any of that in front of me. But I have found places that have said, that there is not an increase in that, like like it's being recorded. Yeah. And then I found places that says that it has. So, oh yeah. Okay. So you know. I mean, put it like this: four hundred and ninety thousand fire structures in in twenty twenty. What was that? 
490,000 fire structures in 2020. That's a lot. And just everything, any, anything, any type everything. of that's a, that's that's how normal it is. That's how many structures? But that's how many yeah. structures in, normally in a year. So this is a half a million a year, basically. So this this happens a lot. And that's when they say structures, they're not even talking about residential. They're talking, you know, actual commercial structures. So it half a million that. of these things happen a year. So it's not uncommon. Uh, I think it was like, uh, basically, they were saying that. It's like y'all saying it's the Russians. It's the Russians, but it's not the Russians and in the way. I never said it was the Russians. Well, no, well, not the Russians. Maybe oh, Q said Lord. that. Maybe Q I don't said think it. I, if you want to know, he what might have said some that. attacks. He might have even say Russians. I don't even know if we said Russians. He oh, just said Lord. might say attacks. I, I, I don't think the Russians are doing anything to it. Yeah. Well, it is kind of it, like they say. It's basically because of the war, because of the things that come from Ukraine and Russia. The things that come from them, and so it's making the short shortages. So we're having shortages, and, and I got a list of stuff they say we actually need to expect this year in shortages. Uh, yeah. Top six things: first one, corn; second one, bread; third one, I can attest to this because my wife said this just the other day. She fried some fish today. She bought some oil. She said this bottle of oil was three fifty last week. Vegetable oil, it was six fifty. I was like, it went up three dollars since the last time we just grocery shop every two weeks. So you're looking at the price in commodities that you're talking about, and, and you're all gonna, of these are going to go up because more, yeah, because of, but before. it's also going to be shortages on them, so it's going to drive the commodities yeah. up. But it, it, you know how it is, people like uh theories these days, they're going to find anyway. But the uh, the last three, four, the one we saw last year, baby formula, we, we already know that's going to be one. The other one, I have no clue why it's on the list, but it makes sense because America likes to buy a lot champagne. <laughs> yes, that's a weird. I like that they have a wild card on there, like champagne. Hey, because America will be in the middle of a doggone recession and a doggone global yeah. pandemic, and people popping bottles. Well, it's very <laughs> smart to have something like that that's tied to celebration more than anything. Like you don't really, unless you're, you know, think about those, it though. How much champagne is sold on New Year's? Right, but in, or you're like a chick that likes to go have mimosas on every Sunday. And Everybody brunching now. Everybody brunching. But, but other than that, you're only you're like I'm not going to the store after this to go get <laughs> champagne to drink. By my, you know, like you're doing that if you're a fucking <laughs> chick, you know. I don't. I don't know who do champagne on a regular. I, I don't know. I, matter of fact, I know who do. Uh, ballers do. You know, people drink rose and uh, ace of spade and all of that stuff. And the oh, last wait. one. <laughs> the yeah, last one. On, I'm this last track, one on here. Yeah. The last one, uh, for all you pet lovers out there, canned pet food. Uh, no, that's uh, very important. Yeah, canned pet Anybody food. They said that's that's going to be. So those six things, I'm going to put the list up there so they can see them. But those six things, uh, expect those to be shortages. And I tell people, you probably won't feel it the first few months. You're going to feel it in the summer when everybody at home eating their butt off and the kids are eating up all the food. That's when you're going to see it. So y'all expect it this summer. Uh, but uh, what you was about to say? Oh geez, about uh, da, 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 da. I lost my train of thought on what I was going to say earlier. Keep going. I guess. Oh, okay, but yeah, that. Oh, so, but track. oh, what I was oh, going to say, I remember now. What? Yeah, I was I was totally taken off track. Did you click on that link that I sent you on our text yesterday when I said the bum wines? No, I saw that. You know, you were talking about. We're talking about uh, Boone's Farm and all that stuff. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I clicked on it. And it, there was a bottle, and in, in that's a website that I remember from the early 2000s. It's got all the really bad liquors and, and hilarious, like Thunderbird and, oh, yeah. and all that stuff in there. And I saw. We were, uh, talking, we were talking about fortified wine, and you were like, "Yeah, that was fancy back in the days." Have you ever drank Thunderbird? I'm trying to do everything. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I, I don't say everything. I none of the new stuff. I, I never had no Casamigo, whatever that. Uh, oh, I know I know Ace of Spade. No, I've had Crystal or yeah. uh no, I mean uh, shitty stuff like Thunderbird. Like Thunderbird. Yeah, but yeah, I mean I was a Bad teenager dogs. once. Uh yeah. I, anybody who was with me Creek uh freshman year, I crashed the you know at Creek, it ain't about the prom, it's about the formal, the winter formal. Mm -hmm. So I crashed the winter formal and uh I got drunk in whatever hotel we was in there, and I think it was Row uh Justin, shout out to the rest in peace to Justin. I where I'm at right now. I live where the old Ramada Inn was back in the days. It's uh, that was, that was a lot of. Uh, 
I think we was we were, we were so I don't know who we were, man I was lit I do not remember because uh, in uh and I think it was Brian Anderson so uh and we had some girls there uh Mika might have been there I don't know some other girls uh but I can't remember so I had ate I remember my mama you know it's close to Christmas so mama didn't cook good I didn't eat roast and collard greens and cornbread you know I I've been drinking with my daddy all summer drinking Crown. Mind you, yeah. grown folks is different than drinking Sex on the Beach, Thunderbird, Purple Passion, uh, Boone's Form, and Cisco. Yeah, Cisco. <laughs> that I'm telling you, them five right there. That was that was what we had because you know why we drunk it. That was the easiest stuff to steal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the yeah, yeah. dead honest truth. It was the easiest stuff to steal. We couldn't. Ain't nothing else. Well, you can't go in a liquor store and steal liquor. They gonna shoot you. You can go yeah, in, a, yeah. in any gas station and you can steal. That's the reason why teenagers drink. You want to know? It's not because they're stupid. It's because that's the easiest stuff to steal. Yeah. Uh, I used to steal <laughs> singles out of the Ridge Runner in the, that that were in the ice. Ridge Run. Man, the Ridge Runner. I believe we single handedly shut that show down. That store. Down. <laughs> Nobody ever paid for anything, did they? We never even paid for gas. We just the pumps work. You just pulled up to the pump and cut it on, bro. <laughs> I, I remember I'm gonna tell this story now. I knew I was gonna come out at some point and we totally got derailed, but I got to, man. Shout out to Rico Points. Uh Rico. I remember one, I remember Rico. Man, I remember one. I'll never forget this, man. Fuck it. And I already know he's not gonna get mad about me saying this, but I'll never forget. I walked in the store with him, me and him and Andy Webb. And he was so he was like Debo back then. I mean, he was Debo. And he walked into the uh store, he took he put two schlitz like uh Tall boys that were yeah. the Schlitz. Yeah, the blue, uh, the, the blue bull, blue bull. Yeah, he looked. He looked at. He looked the 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 counter person in the eyes. And he stuck him in his pants, and he just walked out. And we went and drank them around the corner. And I just <laughs> the thing about forget, it was, it was I'll the never corner. Forget that about Rico, man. I'll shout out to Rico. Rico know, used to ride like, with us. Rico used to ride with us. Like, yeah. like, like I said, these are the people we go way older than me. That. But these like, the I'm people I hung it. with. If it was anybody that was D boys, roguish, if they rock, if they did stuff like that, bro, I hung with them on a the regular. Rico was with us a few few things. We I ain't gonna say a few, a lot of stuff because you Justin, know Rico. My was, neighborhood, Justin and Rico were definitely D boys, not to us, but you know. I mean, they, you talk about my to the heart, boy. Like I mean, but like I say, people like Rico was people I would bump into. Because mm -hmm. every now and then, you know, we were our own little clique, but we were partnering up with other little cliques. Every now and then, we run into I BNC, did. and it's, you know, all us doing something. Then you run into Rico. We run into, uh, uh, shout out to Tim Fam, uh, rest in peace to Tim Fam. Tim Fam, bro, like, Tim Fam was yeah, one of those okay. ones. Uh, when J-Rod, before J-Rod was saved and doing it right, J-Rod used to be out there. And, man, <laughs> so me and J-Rod got caught up one night, and his dad, daddy was a cop. I didn't even know his daddy had to get us out. I hope his mama ain't listening because his mama don't know. <laughs> but yeah, man, every time I see his dad, I be like, bro, I did not know your daddy was a cop. I'm so glad, man. We had, I had a pick lock and set. We had, we had horns. We had been doing all type of stuff that night, bro. And at the end of the night, we got beat down by some cops. Cops, that's the first time I got hit with one of them little, them little, the little, oh. little come out. Man, I tried to come out the bushes running, and it, it looked like he just pointed at me, but I didn't see that little ball or something hit me in my well, chest. I bet that hurts, man. Oh, I bet oh that man. Hurts. Folded me in the bushes. I was Talk like, about oh. a little thing that's just packed full of pain. I've yes. never been one of those, but I can Oh, the first time I got hit with one of those, I could have swung he threw a phantom punch. I was like, man, I thought you, I, I even asked him, bro, did you punch me? He said, I was. Five feet away from you. How can I punch you? He said, I said, that's what I thought. I said, but my chest hurt. What you hit me with? <laughs> he said yeah, this. Yeah. And he flicked it out like that. I had never seen one. Man, that thing hurt so bad. Oh, man. I thought my chest was going to cave in on me. <laughs> that was that was one thing about Bay Ridge and probably a lot of places back then, especially Bay Ridge, is there was a lot of different gang members from different places and different yeah. things. But every but no, there was no Bay Ridge gang, but there was a lot of no, it was, people it was, that moved in and out. In apartments, especially, and yep, everybody those apartments just right got there. Along. All right, so who who else stayed in those apartments? Um, uh, what's Jamie's brother's name? Rest in peace. Uh, oh, oh, Maurice, Maurice Jones. Maurice, Maurice, yeah, Mo, yeah. Mo stayed in them apartments. Like, yeah, went, that, that was the that was the house, bro. That was the, yeah, that yeah. Was, you went to uh, Mo's house, bro. I didn't took so many hat charges in Mo's house. I think <laughs> I lost a girlfriend at Mo's house one time because she didn't smoke. And so we went and got some weed from Mo. And she seen me get down on one knee. You know how you did the hat charge? You like took the hat off and they blew the charge. Oh, a hat charge. A I hat thought charge. You, you caught a case. When he said I got a charge, I was like, oh, 
you no, I just lost a girlfriend. Time. She was a. Oh, no, no, you got a charge. Who doesn't? Yeah, I lost a girl. She. I mean, she was a virgin. I didn't really lose much. I mean, she was cool people. But I, no, 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 no. It was no. Her name was Jennifer. No, she was a virgin. Like she I'm was a sorry. virgin saving it for marriage. So, yeah. but but and this is when I was going to Colay and I came back down there. They weren't used to like gully type stuff like that. They knew I was hood. She saw that. And she was like, I can't do this. <laughs> I was like. Do what? She was like, you smoke. I was like, uh, you met me smoking in the park. Like, what you talking about? <laughs> and Bro, you don't I, give it look, you don't give it up. Mary do. <laughs> I, I, I was this, wrong. I was wrong. I was mean as hell. <laughs> to this day, to this day, I go to my dad's house and I'll I, I take a I take walks over there sometimes and I always walk through the apartments. And I did that the other night and I went through there. And I, I swear to God, I was going through because that's what I do, and then I, I turn a corner, there's like a hot chick with a huge pit bull. And I go, I ain't going that way. And I turn and I go, I'm not, I'm not going that way. And I come back around. And you talk about you talk about uh, Maurice's house. I went through this other way and I turned a corner and it looked just like that. And I was like, it's some youngsters over there. And I'm like, man, about seven, eight of them. I'm like, and I, I went out the gate and I'm like, same shit, man. Yeah, spirit still down. Yeah, it's spirit. funny how you see stuff like that. Like you, you remember but somebody I, from the nineties, and you like I'm gonna go walk through that neighborhood for the rest of my life. Like if I want to take a walk through there, I'm gonna do it. So like, I mean, why not? Like I always yeah. tell people, like when I go back to Mobile, I always go back to RB and literally walk up to the house, the project house we lived in. I go take a picture of the goony goon trees over there where the candy lady used to be, and I had people who live in the projects come out and ask me because one dude come out and ask me, he said, "Bro, what you back here doing?" I swear I'm taking pictures. He say, for what? You the feds? You the police? I say, nah, bro. I grew up. I'm from RB, bro. I'm from down the bay. What are you talking about? Like, I grew up on Kellogg Street, bro. What are you talking about? I come down. When I come back, I come back to the Jets. I take pictures to remember. I say, because I live in Houston. If y'all saw my life, man, y'all be like, dog, bro, you, you did good coming from where you from. But yeah, I'm never scared to go back where I'm from. Like, if that where you from, you go. I know new people come down, and I ain't walking up to new gangsters talking Old, like yeah, in my neighborhood, but I ain't scared to go there. I got uncles and brothers, but like man, I ain't going to RV. And I'm like, what the how in the world, y'all? It's crazy. But to me, I don't know. Maybe it was because I was a kid and they were, you know, older. They saw more, but I still saw people get shot and still a car drove up in our front living room through the through the bricks. I mean, <laughs> it wasn't like I didn't see. You know, it saved me from. You know, I. I, I I still knew of Mike Donald. Like I it's like so it, it 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 wasn't like it saved me from any of the bad stuff that happened in the city. It, it, I saw it just like them. I just didn't I didn't, you know, it didn't it didn't make me be like, oh, uh, I don't, you know, my uncle said so one time. <laughs> he was like, Man, I ain't going up in that uh, you know, they have cabarets in Mobile. I ain't going that cabaret. Uh shoot, oh, it looked like God. drug dealers. He said it looked like drug dealers in there. I said, it looked like drug dealers in there. What the hell going ain't, ain't nothing but our cousins up in there. What are you talking about? <laughs> Your nieces and nephews up in there. What is you talking about? <laughs> is a cabaret just like a little, like a little? Does that mean a strip club or is that just no? A like cabaret a is a a party where you rent it out a hall and you throw a party. You might be charging. You might have some food. Uh, uh you can get setups in there. See, everything in Mobile is a setup. Ain't nobody ordering no drinks. You won't give me a half pint or whatever I want with a bucket of ice, a sprite, and two cups. That's a setup. You I wish everything was like. I mean, that's 10, the way it should be. Rather it used than to be like ten fifty for a setup. I ain't been in in in, in uh, holding the walls a while. It used to be like ten fifty. You get you like a little half a pint of like Hennessy or Crown, and you get two cups, a bucket of ice, and a Sprite or a Coke, whatever you you gonna mix to get a setup. I mean, that's that's how I drunk my look. I was I was a holding the wall type person. I and my daddy always owned one, and I I still to this day, if I want to go kick it and have a good time, I go to a holding the wall. I don't I don't do upscale. Upscale and all no man. Club Hush was never fun. I've been in Club Hush. I mm, I met a bad wife in there. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah. God. I was asking, man. I'm get, all right. We've derailed this. Yeah, we way off. We way off. But who cares? It's Friday. That's what it's supposed to be. Do you want to continue this way or do you want to <laughs> go back? Look, all right. So let's go to where we was going with the trains. We're okay. Because I trains. was about to go somewhere <laughs> way else, but. And, I'm, and we're not going to come back from there if we do that. So we might as well go back to. All right. So trains. All right. So we were talking to Q. Q works for the railroad. So that's why I was, I was, you know, I'm just being facetious, uh, shooting slugs at him. But I was like, man, what's up with your people? Like, why are all the trains derailing? But it was like literally two in Houston in the same day. So it's different when they derail them. But when they say one out 146, you know, my train tracks ain't. I can, run to, yeah, I can run to the train tracks in, in, in about a minute from my house. So well, I the ones out 146 are gone now. 
but that doesn't mean there's other. Yeah, that's where that's it quite is. For 146. If 146. Yeah, because I know they're uh, up towards Baytown and all that stuff. There's a bunch of trains. Well, yeah, you got to remember, I, yeah, 146 go all the way to IT. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, not not like it ain't like, you know, Nassau Road 1, 146, but, right. you know, IT and 146. What, before you get to the right. ship channel, right. ship channel 146. So that's you know that's for the uh by the by the uh spur what is it one thirty three whatever that is, uh, uh but yeah yeah something like that uh but yeah. yeah but yeah I was shooting slugs at him because he worked so I was just you know wondering if he knew uh you know just what's going on but uh that I got a number on that one eleven hundred and sixty four trains derailed last year. That's a lot. It does sound like a lot, and we would have to compare it, like I said, back to. Whatever, and I and I'll I mean, tell you. Let me tell yeah. you what I meant, and, and I'm going to touch on politics right now, but I'm not going to stay there. Let me tell go you what in, I meant when I when I said what has changed. Obviously, I meant the that the new administration, but Pete Buttigieg or whatever is the transportation secretary, right? I don't like Pete, but yeah, go ahead. He is, and it, I'll just say this: it just seems like he is more. Um, interested in getting to the L White House, LGBTQ, whatever, whatever. He just wants to somebody. get to the White House. Whoever gets him now, that's all yeah. he's about. I want him to worry about the transportation, the train problem, because that's his job, or whatever. That's that's the that's all I was saying about that. Is like, it doesn't seem like he's very um, interested in being doing the job that he was assigned, which is being the transportation secretary. Which I think is when things like this happen, if we have a problem with trains derailing. He needs to be the first one to deal with it. And that's all yeah. I'm saying about anything is I want people to be in office to do their jobs and not for other stuff. And I, I don't think that. that exists no more. I think everybody's an upward mobility chick. Everybody's just there trying to get to the next level. And they're using that job to get to the platform they want to do. I don't think first nobody. First. DeSantis does not want to be the governor of Florida. He wants to be the president of the United States. He's using that as a platform. Yeah. That's why he don't care nothing about Florida. He'll cut all y'all laws. I'm all not really laws sure what right. I think about him, to be honest with you. I've never been able to fully or even three quarters kind of really trust him. Yeah, you can't. I, he, he's, he's a total. I mean, not, we know what a douchebag look like. He's a douchebag. Let's just be honest with it. Like, I don't care what side you left or right. He's a douchebag. You might vote for him, but you know you would not invite him to your house and, you know, just have him in your circle. He, he's a douchebag looking dude. And I don't, I don't even he's, know him, but he, I don't think whole, he's fully on board. I, I don't. And this is probably the same thing that you're saying. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not convinced that he's fully on board for anything. Uh, and I think he's, if we want to say it like this, he's Trump light. He's less offensive <laughs> to some yeah. people right, than yeah. the people that can't stand Trump <laughs> on the right. Well, they're like, well, he's pretty good and he is doing what we want. We think we want with Florida. So, mm -hmm. he's, you know, yeah. I told you, I told you a long time ago that there was a woman who is a Democrat that I would have voted for for president had she run. And that's Tulsi Gabbard. So that lets you know, I'm not even. I want the best, you know, I was fully, I, I, I was much more into, I trust her way more than I trust DeSantis. You know what? I, I, I really am disappointed. And, and I, I, I know it's going to sound crazy. I'm disappointed in the Republicans because I felt like I right agree. now they, they had a time to snatch everybody in America. All they got to do is put a dog on candidate. Up right, everybody right, can dog on agree with. It ain't got to be the perfect. Just give us somebody respectable, dude. And we'll ride with y'all. We'll give you a chance. You're yes, and that's like, right. they, oh man, how you gonna do this again? It's like LeBron when he flopping in the fourth quarter in this two point game. But get your butt up off the floor. Hey, dude, that man finally more, slap dude. your cheek. You roll all the way in the stands and make a man spill his margarita on your head. Get up, LeBron. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's you, what's you happening it, right so now, man. And I'm just like, I mean, they really had a moment right here where they could have got the whole man. I think it would have been more unified. I don't think. Because Democrats are just, they, they, they we to the up uh, with them, right? We just can't do it, bro. Y'all, we get it. Y'all getting some things done. But overall, like, I was talking about this on, and, and, and nobody would touch it on Facebook, but I'll touch it now. Uh, uh, I touched on, you know, LGBTQ rights. All right, we had 10 minutes. Uh, okay. Uh, so I touched on that. And, and I just asked, do you feel like, 
Not that you think they're, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 influencing your kids. I think some people go too far with that. And just, I do. You think that their rights and their civil rights are starting to get a little bit more than ours. It's, and, and I know everybody's starting to feel it because that's why I told my wife who's watching something. And uh, it was, you know, it was like a gay scene or trans scene or something. And it was real vivid. And then they got to the straight sets and it was like cut to the morning. I was like, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. whoa, whoa, why we got to see so much of the gay sex, but the straight sex, you know, back in the day, they wouldn't even show the sex. They just like cut to the morning, you see some waterfall or something, or something pop, and then it'd be the next morning. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I will. It's very I will. vivid. It's very vivid. And I'm Absolutely not saying... being pushed. Yeah, yeah being it's pushed. like, come on, like... It's uh, been this way for a while, but it's absolutely over... over it's over overkill over right now. now. It's so and, and it, started on what they're showing children. You know, and, and see, the thing with children, I, I don't get that part. I, and, and I still haven't seen it. And I, I'm trying to find that one. And I, I and, and, and I feel, you know, I, I got plenty of friends on Facebook. I'm in the circles. I got plenty of That's why, you know, I got so many friends because I have people who don't agree with me. So I will know other sides because, and, and, and I, I might get an argument and I might block them. But I'm, before I block them, I'm going to see what the viewpoint is. And if it's just an argument, then there's nothing there. But if you got a viewpoint and it's different than mine, and it's actually valid. That's your viewpoint. And it, it, you're not, you know, mad at my viewpoint. Can't we be Americans together then? Can't we? Because that's so American to me. So you I love have you're saying that you because that's one. what we used to be. And that's how we all, that's, and, and that's the only way to be. And that's why we have, that's what this show is, right? I mean. Yeah, that's exactly what know, it is. <laughs> it sounds like we agree, like we don't disagree on very much really when it comes down to it. Because, I mean, but yeah, yeah, because point, it's, common sense prevails and you realize that everything is absolutely insane right now. Yeah, I just think, you know, I think some, you know, it, the outrage may be too far, you know, with the shooting of beer and, uh, you know, all this stuff getting mad. Don't get mad because they got endorsements. Man, it is yeah. so many people getting endorsements right now uh, that you probably wouldn't agree with if you dug deep enough, you know. Uh, everybody can be mad, you know. Uh, but I just think that I don't know if it's the uh, the agenda or if they're just trying to. Is it easier to grab that cloud? Is e that crowd or that easier to get that clickbait? Easy to get that view? Easy to get that follower? If you you know incorporate some of these things, and I don't think anybody's mad at inclusiveness, but when I feel like it's just like I just feel like their rights are, are way above everybody's right now. And I'm not even saying straight trans. I'm saying the whole community as a whole. Because, like I say, they got some serious bills and stuff being passed. Man, some of these bills, black people have been working on for 400 years. <laughs> and Do we you know what I, what I really think about... And it's not a contest, but it's just like, I think everybody's starting to feel like their rights are... There. It's not even our rights. It's just like... Just stepping on your toes a little bit. It's not even. It's not gonna hurt us. We're not gonna die. It's not gonna uh, make our children, uh, you know, uh, go crazy. It's just like I'm watching a movie now. I gotta see a type of sex that I don't want to see. It, it's, uh, it's intentional. You're not. You're not. Yeah, so it's I, like I have felt this way for a very long. I've felt this way for a long time, and eventually everybody else starts to sort of wake up and see it. It's just a matter of when. When do you when do you realize that it's overwhelming and it's not a coincidence? It's all being done on purpose. Right, now tell me. Here's, yeah, go here's, ahead. I'm, I'm gonna ask you if thing. I'm going too far with it, this because I got a it, question. It's, it's it's being done from the top. And here's the thing that hurts me the most about this is is that it actually it actually goes against what this is supposed to be about. I fully support any gay, trans, whatever person, whatever you want to, I'm always gay. Way, if you're black, <laughs> if you're white, I, I love you. And, you know, I've always been that, but these people at the top, we take these movements and twist them. They, they really bastardize them. And then they, they make them lose credibility. If yeah, there black lives any, matter was one of those black lives matter. It, 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 what, yeah. what I know what that was supposed to be. And these asshole fucking, sorry, whatever you do, what, whatever you want to with that white liberals, at the top, ruin all this stuff, and they and they 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 and do. What I gotta get a, I gotta get a black woman at the top, at the tippy top too. They create too. 
I gotta give them their credit too, because it's three black women at the tippy top too, with all those you know, it's a lot of white women right below them. But them three tippy top black women at the top who made Black Lives Matter, you know, yeah, I gotta give them their credit for for like just like torpedoing something that again had a moment like the Republicans and should have been so good for America, and all of a sudden you shit on it. Right. <laughs> just That's like, all I'm saying. Just like That's how do I'm you saying. do that? Like the whole country needs this at this moment and got our support, get all this money, and now y'all around here, you know, just uh, so all right. So talking about that this, you think that doesn't ultimately hurt the black community or yeah, the gay community think, or anybody you, they, anytime, they, anytime, they, anytime they like over and they ruin them because they don't even damn care about the people that they say they care about to begin with. Anytime you, you have anybody who 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 hijacks a a certain group. And they have ulterior motive. If you come to Jesus and you just want to get bread, same thing. It's the same thing, bro. It don't matter if you say you came to be BLM to help black people and you just want to get bread, bro. Eventually it shows because money magnifies your butt every time. And that's it what happened with those, the women, I guess, who ran BLM, right? The yeah. ones who. Yeah. It was, it was the... black women, women started. I think it might have been a, a white woman in somewhere, but I know it was at least two black women. Uh, I forget yeah. their names, but um, their name's not important to me. But uh, but it's again. Do you think like you know how we got a R rating for sex? Do you think that should be a LGBTQ rating on movies that so that you know that there's a LG a gay scene? Because I think parents would actually get behind that because now you know not to let your kids watch it. It's just a rating. That's an I LGBTQ think, I think it certainly should be one of those things, but if you did, then people would say it was is that not being homophobic inclusive? or racist or something. How is that being now? How is that though? Explain that one. I mean, I guess a young person me. would have to. You and I grew up in a society. <laughs> you and I grew up in a society that was sane. I don't know what's happening now. Like I don't know, I, but I don't. I'm not down with that, man. And I think there should be. I, because I don't think do nobody have to have should be forced to watch that if that's not what they want to see. Like exactly. you can say rated R, and we expect to see a. You know, you gonna see some boobs. You might see some. You know, some some naked butt. You gonna see some booties. You are gonna see genitalia. You're but we know where it's going. Forcing things that are, are are absolutely out of line is is not even the word. I mean, it, it's it's criminal, honestly. You know, <laughs> some of the stuff. Or I, and that's how and then I, you know like I say it's everybody's gonna have the levels of where they come with it and I just think it finally hit me I don't know the last couple of weeks I don't know if it was the movies or shows I watch it but it would be something that was just woven in there and it would just be like wait uh this doesn't even seem natural to the the the, the plot of the story but oh, it also hey. seems amplified. And that's what a lot of I don't watch a lot of mainstream anything, but that's what a lot of people say. They they're like, there's no plot to these movies or shows. They just are putting this stuff in there, in your face, and it's like that's what the whole purpose of this show or whatever is is to put gay sex in there or whatever it might be. Something that's dysfunctional. yeah. Um, not what's dysfunctional. the? I'm trying to think of this cartoon on Netflix that's like this. Uh, and, and, and I couldn't even imagine. You have kids. I don't watch a lot of this stuff, but you probably. See, I got yeah my uh, my daughter older. yeah my and my Not older yeah my older daughters they watch this cartoon on Netflix and I tried to watch it and it's about kids going through puberty I forgot what it's called why is that even there why yeah is it, it's why? a cartoon about kids going through puberty but it is the most raunchiest the stuff they say then like that? even my daughters was watching it and then they said they stopped watching it because they realized that the guys are just saying shock value stuff like whatever I can get to like you know whatever the worst thing you could say I'm gonna sleep with my mama while my daddy watching watching porn doing cocaine off a of breast something just to go as far as this. now if that's if that's really what it is is there any doubt that this One is minute. just is there any doubt that this is just depravity at its worst? I mean, what what is going on right now? If that's, I mean, out and, and you're a, a man of God, I yeah, I, it's called gross darkness. At the end in Revelations, it said, "The world we will see gross darkness, and men will and be I'm lovers of, of their self, well. lovers of their self, in gross darkness." Yeah, it's what the Bible says. That's why I, I'm, I, hey y'all, all I can say is I read the Bible it keeps me calm because it tells me way before things happen all the time. Don't just think that word is all about future. Sometimes it's about you. It's living world.
But we're gonna get on this. We we're not done with this subject, y'all. We're coming back with this one, y'all. Crack open my eyes. Smell like trouble. 